Hello and welcome to today's video where I will teach you how to use string resources in Android Studio, of course, the easy way. Going to Android Studio, you can see I already have a project opened and this is an application I've started in a previous video, but I deliberately left some things undone. For example, next to this uh, text view or buttons, you can see that there are a lot of warnings and these warnings say the same thing, hard-coded text, like so. The problem with hard-coded text is that, let me show you, if I click on the text view, this attribute text says enter pin code and this is the exact text that is displayed here. And this is not a very good practice because if I want to translate the app and uh, move it to, for example, to the Japanese market, then I will need to change this. And the way to do it, I will have to open the app, the editor, and change over here. And I might have multiple activities and multiple objects, and it will be a lot of time wasted when I can have an easier way of dealing with this problem. And this is by using string resources. Okay, now let me show you how to, how to work with this type of string resources. First, you go to the left side in the project folder, and you find the resource or uh, res folder. You open it, you find the value folder, and then you have the strings XML, and you open that file. You can see that right now I don't have any resources entered in this file, so I will open the editor, this option over here to the right, upper right side. Then you have this plus, this is add key, you press it, and then you enter, let's say for the text view, I will say text view end. And the value will be enter pin code exclamation mark. What you see here is a value, a key value pair. This is the value that will be displayed, and this is the key associated with this value. Instead of directly entering this text, enter pin code to be displayed, I will reference this key, and this key will ensure that this value will be taken and displayed in appropriate place in that text view. This way, I will repeat the operation and add, just for example, two more keys. This will be text button one, and this will display only a one. And for the button okay, I will say text button okay. And the text will be obviously okay. As you can see right now, we have some resources over here and we can go back to the activity main XML file. And we select the text view. Going to the text attribute, instead of this hard-coded text, we can delete it. And on the right side, there is this little bubble. You click on it. You have strings over here, and you look for text view content. And it even shows you what will be the content, what will be the exact value to be displayed. So you click on it. You say OK. And right now, looking in the left side over here, the warning message next to the text view is gone. So we don't have a problem with this any longer. But there is this button one. Let's repeat the operation. We delete number one. We go and get the string resource. And no more warning message. Finally, I have for the, let me show you actually what happens if, for example, this delete button, I click on it and instead of the text delete, I will just give it this okay text from the text button okay key. So if I pass this key, the text changed to okay. So this is just to prove that it actually does work. So I will just revert to the previous hard-coded text for this button. 
and I will go to OK button and give it the proper the proper text. So if I would repeat the same steps for all the other buttons, then I will get rid of all these warning messages, just uh, as I did for the first three objects. So this is for today's video. I hope this will be helpful for you. I hope that you learned something new. So until we meet next time in a new video, keep practicing, keep learning. And if there are any comments, suggestions, questions you might have, please leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. Until next time, be safe, take care.